Oh, hi. Welcome to today's devotion. I'm Pastor Julian. We're going to take a look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Listen to this. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. This is a very popular Bible verse. So whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So the primary um, uh, examples given here is eat or drink, do all to the glory of God. And so here we have, I'm eating, I have drink, doing it to the glory of God, right? I'm even doing it during a devotion, right? Yeah. During quarantine, a lot of us have put on some weight. It's the quarantine 20, as some people are saying. Um, maybe uh, we're eating more because we're anxious and it soothes us. Maybe we're eating more because uh, some of us are bored and it's right there and readily available for you. And so you're eating just to end boredom. Whatever reason, um, uh, I'm assuming that this is not consumption uh, for the glory of God. This is uh, our fleshly desires that we are caving into. So what does this mean? Whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. If you, this, this is just brought out, out all the time. And to put it in context, the Apostle Paul is well, originally talking about idolatry, but then he gets into, um, well, against idolatry. Then he gets into talking about eating with um, other Gentiles who might worship some other god or gods uh, and Jews and some others and how you're supposed to approach eating with them. Um, because if you have certain restrictions, say it's Lent, and I'm giving up, giving up meat or something. Well, I can't eat that. I can't eat that. Um, I won't eat that. Uh, and so you you stand up and uh, and try and um, make a stand for your faith. But what Paul is saying is that you should eat what's put in front of you. If those people are being hospitable to you, you need to be re re you need to reciprocate and eat and be kind. And, and so um, he does put a limit on that where they might sacrifice, uh, give you food that's been sacrificed to another god. And in that case, you, you kindly refuse it. Um, not because if you eat it, something's going to happen to you, um, that you will be cursed for eating it. No, he says that it's because... It sends a message to that person um, that it's okay to eat that, and that um, and that their God is good, and uh, and it validates it almost. Whereas if you don't eat it, it will um, cleanse the conscience of that person of believing and thinking in that their God is authentic. Everything that you do, do to the glory of God. So when you're eating these other things that you might not eat, um, you're doing it for that person's benefit so that they might know Jesus Christ. So whatever we're doing, and I mean, you, whatever you do, it says whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So the, the prime example here is eating, but... It can apply to other places in our lives. Let me read on um, verse 32 and 33. He, Paul says, Give no offense to Jews or Greeks or to the church of God, just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many, that they might be saved. So his consideration in all things is not himself, but these other people, and how his actions are affecting them one way or another, and how they view God, and 
and how they have opportunity to see the goodness of God through Paul. See, Paul already knows the peace that surpasses all understanding. He has this relationship with Jesus Christ, which is the greatest treasure he could ever have. Everything else compared to his relationship with Jesus is rubbish, is trash. And he wants other people to have that precious treasure that he has in Jesus Christ. And so whatever he does, he does for the glory of God that others may come to know Jesus Christ. And so in your actions, in how you interact with other people, just keep that in mind. How are my actions drawing that person into knowing God and understanding God and perhaps even giving their life to God so the Spirit can work inside of them? Or are my actions repelling this person and keeping them, keeping them away from God? Keep that in mind because when you're drawing people in, you're doing it to the glory of God, which is what Paul's talking about here. Whether you eat, whether you drink, whatever you do. God bless you.